All right, I'm Stephen Sadler reading from my new book, Money and Power, The Secret History. And the next interesting person during the Industrial Revolution we want to talk about is John D. Rockefeller, one of the most powerful and perhaps richest families, certainly in the United States. But John Davison Rockefeller founded the Standard Oil Company back in 1870. He was the son of um, a salesman named Big Bill. They didn't have a lot of money. He originally got into the produce business, uh, had a pin shop for numbers, like accountancy, and ended up going into business of buying refineries. And back then, remember, it was just fuel oil for lighting and things. They didn't have cars just yet. With a guy named Clark, and they started buying oil refineries. And, they, and as the need for fuel grew, they saw the opportunity, and they struck a deal with one of Morgan's interest, what was called the South Improvement Company, and what they did is offered rebates to Rockefeller's um, oil refining company up to 50%, which gave him a competitive edge over all the other oil refineries because transportation costs are one of the biggest price factors in the petroleum industry, and we'll talk more about oil later. But uh, he basically drove his competition out of business and then was able to go back and buy him up for pennies on the dollar and uh, ended up controlling over 80% of the oil industry and becoming the richest man in America. And his son, by the way, was the CEO, Nelson, was the CEO of the Chase Manhattan Bank for over 20 years. Grandson, I should say. Um, so they have very, they control the energy industry. And we'll talk more about that later and the banking industry. This is a name we all, we're going to come back to again and again, but they got, their, they got their founding in their oil refining business and then later drilling and energy itself, integrated all markets, and now pretty much the world